Hey guys, uh, Sam here back with you. Uh, it's Wednesday, September 19th. And uh, as I mentioned in the last video here, we, pu we pulled our Twitter followers today and they chose what would get uh, analyzed today. So next up here, I have Ripple to Bitcoin. So boy, re relentless downtrend and we're seeing possibly some movement here to suggest that we may, we may have something to work with here. We may have the start of a motive wave that could get us out of the hole here. Long, long, long way to go. So just to do a quick review here, for the way I'm counting it here, I've got us into an ABC for a W. There's the X, and then we're completing a long ABC. So really what matters is coming off of this B wave here, the proposed B wave. Well, it's fairly technical. It's, we, we, we get a nice clean one wave ABC into our two. So again, just, just standard ops here. Where, where do we go? Well, we're a little shy, of the, little shy of the 50 here. Possibly that's a front run. We blow right through. We get all the way to third target here. So good, good candidate here down here. Now, so note that. All right. So that, that's why there's some question mark as to whether or not we're done down here. So if you think about that from with regards to where we'd be looking for our third wave here, so just again, same thing you've seen me do a thousand times. If we take the length of our one and project from our two, well, we, so we, this could be three here, right? So, the, so you look at this and you go, okay, wh what, what could be happening here? Well, this is our deepest retracement. So, you know, we're not I, perfectly technical here, but I've got to get if I've got to get a five wave structure out of this. So this looks like four five. So one two. Well, let's just check that. Could that be our one? Is it right right here? Yeah, that 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 would play. So we could have a three four five. So we could have one two three three A B C into the four down that this is clearly we're finishing something here. So this is our three, then we get our deepest retracement. So we we have a, a relationship here to look at if that's gonna be our three. Uh, you know, so where you're looking for it, right between the, the 23 and the 38. So we don't, we, there's nothing precise there. You know, even if we look here from some of these secondary pivots, 38 there, here's the last move before we go down. We get the 50 there, but we're unresolved here. So this is the only question mark. So if, if this is three and this is four, well, so the, the so we'd have an unresolved we'd we'd have unresolved targets down here. So if you think about that in terms of logical targets, what we might where we might use the fib common fib relationships for a five wave. So if we take the length of the one, get it right on there, projected from the proposed four, well we haven't even made the sixty eight, or pardon me the 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 sixty one point eight as a target that would be reasonable. So what's the alternate if that's not it? Well, the possibility is that this is just one, two, and we're just going to continue to go down. So we look at the length of this five here relative to the, the one. I mean, yes, is there a five count there? Well, how do we confirm? Well, we got to get on the other side of the seven, eight, six here. All right, so, so far, so good sign, right? So we, algos, you know, we, we have the potential for the retrace here for an algo to buy swing low to swing high to catch the 50. So then at least you'd have, you'd have the potential now for an algo to have behind you. So, so digging in here now, if we look at this, this five way, so let me go down to the uh, one hour here. Let's see if this makes sense. So yeah, I can get five out of that, right? But we can't, we can't eliminate the possibility that this is not just one, two before we go down into, into a full five wave structure to finish this. So yeah, I do have five here. I'd be, again, we'd be short on these, on these targets. So if I look at the length of my three, you know, prime spot for the four, we come down. So we'd be left hanging, essentially double bottoming down here. So, but that move is is not insignificant, right? So that's a contender, could be, could be. We might have something along these lines. Maybe there's a, a one, some sort of two in here, three going in, four, five. So if we get a motive wave, right? In this case, looks like we're a high probability for an impulse. So if we get something like that, well, then we might lean into this a little bit more. Where's the two, right? So is it here right before we go up? Hard, hard to say, All right? So even if we go down to the 30 minute, I don't know that we're going to get a lot of help here. Right, we just got side. We just got backwash here. So where, where's the where's the could be here? Could be here. That's an, that would be an ugly looking some sort of a diagonal into a one two of the three four five. So that actually could be there. 
So you could have one, two, one, two, three, four, double top into the five. So one way or another, we're looking for the first retrace here. So I, I'd, I'd be checking for, so this is the, so I'd be looking at all of it. So low, the absolute low here, we know an algo, if, if that's gonna, if that's gonna kick, it will we'll support here. And we have this little prior resistance here, possibly, so right at the Vegas wave, right? Pot, maybe. That's one, two, some sort of ugly one, two, three, four, five. So that could, that could be in play. Right, so but what what makes it problematic here is that we unresolved targets down here. So, you know, I I, I wouldn't be loading up here just yet, right? So I what I would suggest is let, let's see if this completes. Do we do we come down here in the way we would anticipate? So if this is the if the, if we're just doing A B C before we go up here, now that then I get then I, then I get more excited about it here as a, as a potential possible trend change. Right, now we've got a long way to go. So if we go back out to the three hour and put that into context, trend change, well, okay. So we, we got some major pivots to get through. So if, so if I can't ignore that. So if we go down to that low, well, we got to get, so here, this would be, so if this were going to go impulsive, well, we get, here's a hundred percent here, which seems, seems unlikely based on this move, but it's possible. So we got to get through this 50, then we got to get through this 50, right? So a lot of work to get to get a hard trend change underway, but at least we have the possibility for the the one wave of the one wave to be to be started. All right? So again, I I would want to so for me, I would wait, right? I, there's just there's no no reason to chase this here. Right? It's just too too much uncertainty. Now, if I get 4 or 5, well, then that, that's a new ball game. Well, then we've got a potential one wave going in. Then the trade is for the two, three, and the four, and the five, right? So if this, and let me change that color. Let's get that here. So let's go to, um, we'll go to yellow and let's go up a degree. So now if, if, right, if we were to complete here and get a five wave structure, that's possibly a one wave possibly an A wave as well, right? We know that. So, but, but considering that I've got, I've got everything completing down here, albeit leaving some hanging targets, I've got the potential here for the four or five to go in and then I would just wait. So I'm, I'm swing low to swing low here. Again, I'm hypothetical here. I don't know where this pivots, but the point being, then I'd wait for this, All right? So if, if we come up here and get that, then why, why there's, there's so much upside. That's the trade you want. Right, let this confirm so you have something to work with. Okay, I've got, a, I've got an impulse, in this case, I've got an impulsive one wave. Well, when we know that's, odds are that's gonna correct, right? We trend in fives, we correct in threes, that this would be a prime zone, now, now note here, right? So, so we have the potential for this prior resistance to kick in here. Where's our, our, our zone that we're looking for that wave two is anywhere from the 50 to the 618. That's where we're looking for it. So let the so again you know you yeah you you're you're a scalper yeah there's potentially a trade here from the four to the five and from the B to the C there are trades here if you want but if you're looking for something more position oriented where you can get in and then look for bigger bigger targets yeah that there, there's a, there are, there are trades there so if this sets up here right, depending on where we get it get that yeah, come here. If we, all right, so first question is where's your two? All right, is it here? It's, there's nothing particularly. Last last pivot before we go up. Last pivot low before we go up. All the way back. Tough tough to make that call, right? So I would use the lowest low here. That's the first thing I would be targeting. So do we get any kind of a reaction here? Right, we don't want that. We prefer that not go below the 50, although we've seen it before. Right, then we get a nice solid motive wave here. So length of the three, we don't break the 50 on the four. So there's a trade in the four to the five. Right, I don't, I don't love it, but it's there. Right, it just seems to me too, too much uncertainty here. So I would, I, I'd much prefer if you were looking for, if you're looking for the next swing trade, I'd want to see that complete, and you could trade the B into the C. Right. Again, assuming you like you're you're comfortable on the short side. For me, I would let this resolve. I'd wait, and I'd be chomping at the bit to buy down here. That's what I see, guys. I, I just I just don't see any reason to to force something unconfirmed. Right? We don't we don't know that we're going to get a motive wave here. We don't know that yet. Let this confirm, and then anticipate. Well, we know if we get that, odds are we're going to make a fifty percent retracement for the people that. 
So it, you can think about it, right? So the people that bought down here, they got this big move. They're so excited. They can't, you know, they, we, we come up here, we start to come down. Those trailing stops start getting hit. Then it's like, oh, maybe, maybe. So this is what always causes the B wave, right? So the market, the market comes down. Some of the tighter trailing stops are hit. We hit some sort of a level here. Then there's a push back up and then the hopium kicks back in. Oh, maybe, 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 maybe. Right. And then, but it's usually the failure there that causes the, the rollover that creates the, 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 the ABC that gives us the 50% retracement. Right. That, that's what causes it. Right. It's just fear and greed. Uh, oh, greed, greed. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Fear, fear. We start coming down. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Right. We've all been through that. Right. That's the emotional cycle that we go through. Right. We, we, that's what creates these patterns. All of the LA wave. It's nothing more than than the representation of fear and greed on a on a chart. It, that's all it is. All it is. Not magic. It's not inevitable. It's not inevitable that we do an ABC and come to a fifty. That's not inevitable. It's just probable. What what else do you have? Right. If you've got something better than that. I, I'm I'm all ears. No certainty. No absolute, no, nobody knows where it's going. Just probabilities. That's all we get. All right, guys, I'll wrap it there. As always, give us a follow over on Twitter if you're not already there already. All right, we appreciate that. We try and engage with you over there. And if you want to learn more about what we offer, maybe get a sample for what we're doing. Well, you can always, you could join our free, our public Discord. Let, get, I think we've got almost 2,000 people in there now. So that's that's very popular. That's kind of a stepping stone. A lot of people will use that, kind of come in, get a feel for it. Do I like this? Is everything cool? That's a stepping stone to step to come into the to the uh, the paid Discord. That's an option for you. And you can always read more about uh, what we offer and all the information over on our website. The belt system it tends to be something that you would get uh, more engagement if you were in the public Discord. So don't don't ignore that. That's that's a good place to learn a little bit more about what we're doing, All right? And then as always, um, you know, you can always write us, you have questions, we're, we're happy to talk to you. All right, guys, with that, I'll wrap it for the day and we'll see you later.